Good morning and welcome to Friday, day two of Epson. Um, basically, last night I'm going to have <laughs> this weird kind of drink. Um, basically, coming back late at night on um, boys' brigade trip with boy. Well, when it's dark, maybe when, uh, when it's night and that's the moon is dead. So, then getting off, and then a few minutes later. Setting a bright light appears like a little sun being born in our galaxy, brightening up the whole place, making it daytime again when it's supposed to be night. It's kind of found industry. Also, a sign, maybe a new song will be born. And uh, well, the question is what happened to the old song? Was that still going? Oh, in fact, it was doing really a 24 hours daylight, or is it possible? Maybe the sun's changed. It's an unusual thing. Especially see if it happen what happens in the show will. You've seen this in fact if thing, if that did happen in real life, the first thing I think I'd do is find somewhere where it's supposed to be daytime and find out if it's gone dark there. Indicating that the other sun might be going out in that. So I better get well Better get going. Also, not forgetting that I need to check on that, see if that bag was found last night in Hanson, which does two game. It's just basically it's 44 years worth of in that, in the, in the bags, in the bag that left behind. It's a bit disappointing. The extension pack is not much, but it was more the dice game. I see. In fact, I don't think I'd be after hard to buy another one if, if it turns up. Unfortunately. So we'll find out. In fact, because it's in the last hour, maybe even half an hour, I'm very confident probably a lot of people probably walked by. And I have to start for the place where I think I left it, where fishing enough, after have to rent and spot it, the mice. Hands in. So I found out this morning. Also, I need to get breakfast first because it's not included in my hotel. So let's go. Also, that's one thing when you are back in hotels, check whether you're getting breakfast if you want breakfast and the price or not. Hello, guys. Um, one thing I have to say it's much nicer morning than yesterday morning. Yesterday it was raining. In fact, the evening kind of took up. It's not been today, so that's good. Great, it's actually under my windows. Yeah, so I hope. So, I'm just walking towards the Treasure Brennan Platz, using the power. And there's the advertising for this is good. 15. So I just have to change so far. And of course, you know, the reason I want to try and find a place is hopefully. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At least I can get on and then uh, yeah, have a straight line trip. Getting a place easy enough. Just make sure they're on time for my group round. 
first game, then won my next two games, and then I had to go into a playoff group in my group against the person I lost in the first group. Um, and I just won that competition. Got true to the semi-final, and just won that and so on, and true to the final. So taking a break, and then back to have fun. So it a good time to go lunch, and Okay, so um, just a second to light now. Um, so basically, the same second day. Um, one thing about what I mentioned is everyone that in this competition got a copy of which I And some of the uh, on this one that was knocked out early was excited for getting um copy of the issue one to this. Also my directions after the competition is over I managed to buy Mafia City. Yesterday it was ten year. It was a game that I played in two thousand twelve. I actually won. Well it's my strategy wasn't it's basically so there was, was playing against someone else, well, was five of us playing, maximum number of players. But I looked over for one girl and realised if she gets in this point, she's won. So I tried to stop her. In the process, what I didn't realise is that in trying to stop her, I was actually putting myself into victory mode, which I didn't realise. It took me a little while, at least a while to cop it. never realised, hang on. I won here. I was too busy trying to stop someone else from me. I never actually realised myself. So this was 10 years yesterday, and then today it's actually 5. So that's a bargain. Gone down. Just raised for this bit. Let's see what else we have in the goodie bag. Ooh, sorry, I might see some cards. Also, unless you're getting a boss, that's how I'll be good to play with my nephew. Is Sushi dice, especially nice kind of it's a fast place, easy to understand game. You're trying to roll the dices to make up the pitches and that, and you've got to watch out for your pounds. Basically, yuck this is the ten they use, and so I think this is hack trick. Yeah, I think it's the name actually. It's basically, you playing cards, you get. F well, what? the dealer deals himself a tree and he deals his opponent four. And his opponent picks one card to place down, a starting card. And the sequence in that. So it could be one, zero, five. Well, it's so five, three, two, or four. I'll put in the way, zero, one, it's between zero, one, two, four, sorry, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So that's what I meant to say. So you have six kind of combinations on So it's kind of interesting that if you play it, like if someone puts down for two, then you play, you're going to. You take and put. Ah, uh, it's like when you put on zero, like if someone's played a two, then you can knock their piece off and I have your own piece on. It's kind of like excess nose by using a card and you can take piece a pound's piece in that. I'll take two I think. Basically you kind of have to get your alliance share card to win. 
So you've got to play the cards right as well. I'm not gonna numbers. In fact, I'm gonna take a close look at this. Exactly how the key path works. You make a it's actually there we go, that's better. Can leave up there on top of my skins. Let's go look into this. What's the point of time I get out? This be a week or maybe even longer. Then I get all these sources on to Okay, so that's the rules. Also, do you see my back hasn't turned up? Which is someone's walked off, which is all right. It's in the request. Where's the glue on this? Instructions in it. Who's the, this side? There's one boy actually on the team. Well, she's someone's son, let's say. Maybe, well, who's German? I think it's school holidays here. So I have that feeling because I love German still there, I don't know. I don't know Well, apart from internationalizing, but it's mostly German. Yes, yeah, those instructions are English. So they're kind of thin markers, then you've got white and red. Kind of nice text box. A small interest in this one. I think it's actually the cool one. Yeah, mind vision scans. It's what they. Old. Kind of got me interested in it. Let's go over it and see. And the place and the game. Nice. This is one that we're doing. It's often you get small, like, interesting games and the companies people are trying. Especially it's a Kickstart one. Um, At the moment, so that's the Cold car. 
Zwijf maar steeds in deze kaart. Six poor cards. Oké, okay, six poor cards. Dan wordt het de kook haard.
says Kaka. That didn't take me a while to at least complete the game mode then. Of course, the other thing you have to watch is that there's each of the six numbers 0 to 5, there's only three of them. And to get tossed out in that, I think it's going down to 16. Cards, trying to mean that. So that's going to make it a very interesting game, especially not to play on. I'll probably, this one ends up, I'll probably play a few of these kings against, especially um, a lot of them as well, maybe into a sort of form, kind of cutting off and that. I'll see how edging goes, how clever can do the edging. So that's kind of today's. Also, about the final, who won? Well, I'm going to let you know tomorrow. And the other, should I say, the next video log, video that I do, which is probably tomorrow. Good night.